As the former boss of Ferrari's Formula One team, Stefano Domenicali knows all about competition. Now he's racing to win on a different track. He became the president and CEO of Lamborghini in March this past year. I sat down with Domenicali and asked him after years of preparing for 600 million fans every weekend, what drives him in his new role? What drives me in this new experience for me, it drives me the emotion to be part of a great challenge for the future. You know, Lamborghini is a great brand, great company. Uh, in the past, there were so many difficult years, you know, changes of shareholding. Now, with the, with the fact that now the situation is stabilized with the Audi being the, the, the shareholder of us, uh, we have a very solid basement on, on which we need to, you know, to grow and to build up for the future. As you know, in a couple of years, two years, we're going to launch the new SUV Lamborghini that has to be a perfect car in a different uh, niche of a market that is totally different from what we are used to, to, to do. So. What drives me is uh, so many things to do, so excited about it, and it's a privilege, you know, to be the CEO of, su of a, such a fantastic company. When you think of a Lamborghini driver, who is that? Lamborghini driver is a, a normally man. That's a target that we may change in the future, but normally they are men, uh, young, uh, entrepreneur, uh, uh, for sure protagonist. Uh, uh, they want to be seen as the one that were able to be part of, of, of us, and they want to have a uh, characteristics that are recognized all over the world. Uh, one thing that is important is that they want to be uh, listened, they want to be heard. So the things that we always do is really to be in contact with them through our network because uh, I r consider our dealers really part of our organization because they know very well the market all over the world. Uh, they know the customer and the customer wants to have the voice. They want to tell us uh, what is their, uh, you know, that they need. And uh, just to give you an example, the first thing that everyone said to me, please, please, in the future, do not touch the V12 uh, with uh, the Aventador. What do you think then about turbochargers? I mean, we see them in so many other great sports brands that you wouldn't expect. Uh, Porsche's all turbocharged now. Uh, Ferrari turbocharges its race, its track car. Um, Will Lamborghini have to do the same thing? Well, uh, for sure, it's a choice that is connected to a philo different philosophy. Well, it it's seems to be a choice that's connected to regulation. I'm not sure any uh, Ferrari well, engineer would purposely turbocharge. I think so, day. for sure, because I knew what was uh, the, the moment of that decision. For sure, it's connected to regulation, but you may achieve uh, the same kind of things in a different way. The, the, that is the way that may characterize in the future the super sport car portfolio Lamborghini with the other uh, with the other manufacturer uh, for sure turbo is the solution I can tell you that uh, you know the new SUV will have a turbo charge uh, be turbo that's for sure but with a different product we will try to keep our uh, engine above all the Aventador V12 with a uh, new uh, technological solution in the future and we will decide in the near future what will be the 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 the, the, the as the in uh, we used to say the follower the of the hurricane very shortly we don't want to say never uh, that we're going to do turbo or not turbo. We need to make the, 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 all the things on the table and, to, and we need to take the right solution, considering the need of the customer, considering the regulation, considering the markets, and then we'll, we'll take the decision. We want to make sure the Lamborghini is unique, and in that respect, we need to make sometimes difficult decisions, different, uh, difficult calls, but that's the reason why we are here. But the Aventador stays naturally aspirated V12. That's not going to go away. That is uh, confirmed. I've had the privilege of driving an Aventador at uh, Catalonia, Barcelona, and I've also been able to drive a Huracan here on the twisty back roads of upstate New York. Um, I can't decide which one I like better. But what about you? I mean, do you have a favorite? What's your favorite thing about driving them? Well, my favorite thing is for sure there are two different cars. Both great, uh, but um, if you ask me personally, you know, the way that I am as a man, a uh, perfect car for me is a Huracan Spider that you can use in a sunny condition. Uh, four wheel drive uh, is great because it gives you the stability, but for the, for the, you know, the young generation that to be, to push in certain condition, the two wheel drive is also excellent. But uh, for me, I would say it's a Huracan Spider in the Dolomites of Italy. That's my favorite place where I would drive my car. What about the Centenero Spider? Did you get one of those? I mean, there were only 40, 20, 20 made of the, the Roadster. Um, 
No, that's not for me. No? Uh, no, no, not at all. We have super customers that have already, uh, let's say, uh, dedicated the time and money uh, to, 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 to be part of this uh, super extended club. Is that, why, is that why you put out these super special editions to kind of reward uh, loyal customers? I would say two, two things. First is a, a way to anticipate some technology content that we can bring later on in the product. This is one, one factor. The other one, we see potential from the customer loyalty point of view to create this kind of uh, we call one-off series that means not there's only one car there's a uh, very few cars that uh, are uh, just for the ones that really are part of uh, uh, this uh, super club as I said because they are already belonging in many cars of, of our history because they're special customers special client and uh, you know it's a car that will have a value for the future you know it we we, we produce only 40 20 roster 20 coupe uh, and uh, they're already sold out you know, and it, what is, in my view, phenomenal, you know, this customer, without seeing the car, they already say, I want to be there. I want to have it. I would like to have it. You know, uh, they, they are ready to, to do everything. So that means a lot.